Welcome to Unlock and Learn. Today, I'm going to get behind the wheel of the new I-Pace, Jaguar's new all-electric SUV. Hey. But before I do that, I just want to talk about some of the cool features that Jaguar has designed and developed for this car. You can have features enabling you to precondition the interior to your desired temperature, either warm it up or cool it down using the Jaguar remote app. And while it's plugged in, it uses electricity from your power source instead of using electricity from the car. Thereby, when you start your journey, you have maximum range available. If you're the active type, there is the Jaguar Activity Key, which is this little wristband here. And the way it works is that you can leave your key in the car securely, and then you just place that against the J. That locks the vehicle and it deactivates the key. So you can then go off and do your activity. And when you come back, you just simply press the boot release button here, place that against the J and that unlocks the car and it reactivates the key. When you do have your key on you, but you don't have access to it because your hands might well be full, there is also the gesture control feature, which is by wagging your foot underneath the rear bumper on either side, it will open the boot without pressing any buttons to reveal a very generous boot space. Now, as you can see, there's plenty of space in the back here. I mean, I'm six foot tall, about 180 meters tall. There's loads and loads of knee room. And also, if you look around, we have the panoramic roof here, and it really, really opens up the space. Jaguar has coated the glass in this new technology, which allows for the sun rays to be blocked when it comes in. And that means you can take the sun blind away. And by taking the sun blind away, Jaguar has freed up the headroom, and it just looks fantastic. You've got this undisturbed view of looking out of the car. We've got two additional USB ports along with the 12 volt ports on the back. That means that in total, six USBs can be connected and we have your four zone air conditioning. And by pushing the button here, you get your rear seat heating. The iPace features a technology called Smart Settings. And what it does is it detects me when I approach the vehicle using the key as well as my telephone. And as I get in, it will move the seat into my preferred position. Well, if I like to have the heated seats on in the morning, but not in the evening, it can learn exactly that. And with the media, if I like to listen to the radio in the morning, but on the way home, I like to listen to MP3s, then it'll also learn that and it'll pre-select everything so I don't have to worry about doing a thing when I get into the car. Starting the iPace is really straightforward. You put your foot on the brake, you press the stop start button, you press D for drive. Let's go and have some fun. One of the reasons for the I-Pace is so good to drive is it has two motors, one on the front and one at the back that produce combined 400 PS and 696 newton meters of torque. Now, what I've just said might go over some people's heads, but what everyone will understand, naught to 100 kilometers an hour available in 4.8 seconds. Okay, but you're probably thinking, come on, it's an electric car, so what's the range? Well, this car can do 480 kilometers on a single charge, so you've got nothing to worry about. In fact, for about 90% of the driving that I do, I just use my home charger. For those occasions where I do need to go further afield and use public charging, I plan my route using the app. I can send my route to the vehicle, and I'll plan it on the navigation system. And what the car does is, it will see what my state of charge is now, and what my predicted state of charge is, when I get to my destination. And if it sees that I don't have a sufficient amount of charge, then it'll actually direct me via public charging stations. The iPace is packed with safety features. For example, to help you keep your eyes on the road. That wasn't me, that wasn't me, don't worry. That was somebody else. But anyway, seriously, to help you keep your eyes on the road, you can beam information up via the head-up display, such as your speed, your navigation, or even your telephone. Ah, and nearly forgot, eight devices can link up to its 4G Wi-Fi hotspot. So what's it like being in this car? Well, it ticks for me so many boxes. It's dynamic, it's fast, it's also safe, but ultimately, it's really calm. And you really do feel cocooned from the outside world. I've been driving this car for about four months now, and to be honest with you, I don't want to give it back. 